So today, I face something scarier than all the Minecraft critters in the Minecraft world. People. I'm kind of kidding, but my uh, very severe social anxiety is not. But yeah, I applied and was invited to join an SMP called Vervain's Arcadia, and I am about to open it up for the very first time. It's a mix of content creators and not, mostly not, I think. But it has been established for a couple of years. It started in 1.16, so that's going to be exciting to see since I've never seen anything outside of 1.19. I'm super nervous, but I'm also really, really excited. So, are you ready to go along with me? Let's go! Oh my gosh. Here we are, guys. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'm also going to, uh... Need things, huh? Okay. Mini game server. This is awesome. I love this. <laughs> Shulker boxes in the path. The thing is, uh, there is proximity chat on this server, but I can't figure out where it is in my settings. I added it to my mod pack, but, um, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, like, this lobby area is a little trippy. Okay, the creative server. It looks like these are little, like, setups of, like, you know, mini-maps for each of the different worlds. I love this. Alright, are we ready? I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the survival world. Oh, this is so cool. <gasps> That's so pretty. What is this? It's so pretty. There's a train station. Oh, this is super pretty. Notice board. Ah, yes. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. Yeah, so this is one of the things that we have on the server is heads, um, the, the, the head packs. So I'm excited to, to do that, kind of, I don't know if we have like mini blocks too or if it's just heads, but that opens up a lot of possibilities that I'm very excited about. <sighs> well, I'm gonna need to find some food. Alright, well if I can knock down a tree. That's helpful. Community farm. Oh, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Aww. Guys, I'm already seeing so many different, like, styles of builds, and they all look so good, and I'm a little bit intimidated, not gonna lie. Let's see. Can I drum up some carrots here? And... Joop, joop. I guess this is the advantage of being getting on an already established server, huh? I'm wondering if there are beds around or anything. Hats and shirts, legs and shoes. Obsidian for portals and ender pearls. <laughs> Not much. Guess I'll take some legs. A little bit of armor is better than no armor at all, right? There's lots of carrots. I'm going to take a little bit more just so I don't run out because I definitely have places to go and things to see. Oh, it's a scary cave. <gasps> That's so cool. Everything's nicely lit up. That's awesome. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this looks like somebody's area. There's like a cactus farm and I have never had... Uh, all these beacon effects before. I'm like running crazy fast. Uh, okay, so this is somebody's house. Oh gosh. This jump boost. I have never had that before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's super cool. <gasps> A totally friendly witch lives here. 
Oh, that's awesome. I'm a totally friendly witch, too. It was at this point that I figured out the proximity chat. Almost. I might have lost audio for some of the episode, but that doesn't mean I didn't have fun. After grabbing some more carrots, I bounced off to explore and maybe find some trees to chop down. I encountered the most beautiful build that I've ever seen in my own plane, and then decided to wait to chop down trees until I got away from civilization because anxiety. I took a leap of faith, found my favorite mode of transport, and visited the shopping district. Here I found where to buy elytra and shulker boxes. I'm glad I don't have to get them myself, but I am, of course, quite poor currently, so I'll be back for those later. There are certainly benefits to jumping into an established server. I ran into some friendly faces and found my favorite shop, the music shop. Guess I'm keeping up my tradition of visiting music shops everywhere I go. This is a diamond-based economy, so diamonds are way more important here than in my single-player world. I found the farmer's market, where displays light up as you approach them, and after poking around a few more places, I hopped on the Ice Road Express again. This is absolutely my favorite, and I especially love the sections under the ocean. While chilling in my boat, I checked the server map and picked an area to head towards and hopefully settle. I arrived at the Fort Grace stop and dropped my trusty borrowed boat between the cracks. It's lost forever. I'm sorry, guys. I'll replace it when I can. I struck out northeast from the station over dozens of windswept hills, collecting materials along the way. I encountered a beautiful home from a distance and met a baby donkey. I haven't seen one yet, and he was just too precious. Eventually, I hit a snowy area and a couple of villages, and just north was the area I wanted to settle. And waiting to welcome me was a wandering trader. He confirmed for me that many blocks were in the game, and I went on a spending spree, using my two emeralds to nab Zombie Cleo and Doc M heads. I'm sorry, Azuma. I love you too. At least this way you don't have to hear my, hi, I'm Cleo, impression. Wait. I stole a bed and set up camp. I think it's fitting for Doc's head to live on my crafting table for now. He's a huge inspiration to me as a baby Minecrafter. I started to gather resources, setting up crops around one of the ponds and sugarcane around another. Then I went mining. Eventually I have a whole mining setup I want to do, but this will have to do for now. I dug to deep slate and then went after iron. Eventually I had all the things I need for the iron farm design that I'm going to try, and I started construction on that. I was too anxious to ask for people to not sleep, so I tried a few things to get a baddie for the farm, including grabbing a passing pillager, but once I got the bad omen effect from his captain, he disappeared. At this point, there was only one other person on the server, and they weren't sleeping, so I finally was able to capture a zombie. Okay, and we are back with audio issues resolved, which is... Going to make my life a lot easier for the rest of this video. Anyways, let's dump some water in there because we still have our bad omen. And it is time to get us some villagers. So, bye bye bad omen. Okay, so I need to grab villagers from here. And uh, this is not my favorite. Favorite thing to do by any means. Um, ooh. Can we? Is there a kind of straight shot from here? We can make a straight shot, I think. Do I have dirt on me? I do. Look at this. So professional. Okay, so I think we might be able to boat up slabs. Oh, no. I thought you could boat... I thought you could boat up them. Um, well, that's going to make things a little bit complicated, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, hello, sir. Would you like to go on a boat ride with me? I'm sorry, can I not even go up a hecking grass block? Boats are supposed to be able to go up, right? Right? This is how this works. Thank you, sir. Oh, no. 
Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Okay. Hi, sir. Allow me to take you on the ride of your life. All right. No way but Ford, my my good sir. Awesome sass. Okay. Then we just kind of head this direction. There we are. Droop and droop. Ah, no! Sir, no! No! Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on, my dude. Come on. If we put that there. Oh my gosh! Why are you guys so eager to share a boat? Go on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Come on, somebody please, please, please. Not you. I don't want you. No. Oh no. No. Why? I think it's rather funny that part of the problem here is that we get too many in a boat. Usually you can't get them in a boat at all. All right, and we're off. What? What? No, no, get in the boat. Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh my goodness. All right, here we go again. Hey, my dude. Can I interest you in a boat ride? Oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that made life easier, I think. I think we should be able to get all the way across at this level. And we made it. All right, so now what I gotta do is, one, I'm going to chop a hole. Um, and cover this guy up, and then you take out this glass right here, and these guys should actually, you know what, we're going to take out this, because they're right there, and they should pathfind to the glass once it becomes night, and it is noon right now, so I'm going to go clean up my dirt mess. No, I'm going to make a friend. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. I hope so. Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you? Hey, 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 bud, bud. <gasps> oh, my buddy. Look at you. I love you. All right. Now he has a little friend. That's awesome. All right, buddy. Come with me. We're gonna go clean up our mess. Okay, the sun is starting to set. Let's get over here to our villagers and hope that the sun going down, they will pathfind to their beds. All right. Oh, no, 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 sir. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Gosh. They're the worst. There's beds over here, guys. Come on, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, sir. No, 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 where are you going? Oh my gosh. Well, now we have to wait another day. Okay, as the sun goes down, we are taking no chances with these villagers. They must, they must go where they belong. And I think... 
think at this point, yep, 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 yep. We should be safe to break the boats, and as the sun goes down, they might start heading into the beds. Yes. Go in, you good says. No, 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 no. Please don't sleep through the night, guys. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, no. What happened here? All right, we're just going to let you guys walk right in. All right, bedtime, you guys. Bedtime, you guys. That was the longest 10 minutes I've spent in a very long time. Okay, guys, 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 go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed. Please go to bed. Please go to bed. Please go to bed. Everybody, everybody to bed. Everybody, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, go to bed. Bed, bedtime. Well, the villagers are in. They went in on their own during the day there, but um, they didn't sleep. Um, and I'm trying to troubleshoot that now because, because I think the idea is that they don't see him when he goes up there. And they should stop panicking long enough to just sleep for a second. Which is all they need to start making the golems, is to sleep for just a second. Um, but, so he, he sometimes loses focus on them, but not all of the time. So I think he's not going back quite far enough all of the time. While we're waiting for those villagers, um, I did want to climb up here and kind of get a little bit of a view and talk about what I think I'm gonna do for this. So, um, I grew up in Alaska and I really, really want to just make some, make an Alaska land, basically, um, using some builds from things that I know in real life. Um, and also taking inspiration from a couple of different genres of art. But we are in a, an area that is between snow over that way back behind me. It's just a little snowy area. And then a frozen ocean up north. And I kind of want to settle in into this area in between. There's a lot of taiga, a lot of windswept hills, and then some birch and oak and plains type stuff. So that's my plan. I'm going to start making things in this area that are builds inspired by my growing up years. All right, let's watch these guys and hope that they go to sleep this time. Come on, take, take a sleep, take, take a sleep, come on. Okay, there's one sleeping. There's one that slept. Okay, so I think two of them slept. Come on, I need this iron, guys. Come on. By the way, I just learned today that path blocks are not spawnable blocks. So that's going to make my life easier in various times. So that was really good to know. Our sun is going down. So let's see if these guys get enough naps. All of you, dude in the middle, sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Is that enough? Sleep, dang it. Why won't this guy sleep? He's not sleeping. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Good. Good. Much good. And there we go. We have golems. And I'm going to have to 
take out this skeleton, which is very not my thing. Well, there we go. We have a working iron farm now. This is an awesome design. Um, I just because other people were sleeping, I did have to like block off the zombie in order to get the villagers to sleep for the first time. Um, so we'll see how that whole aspect goes, but, um, we're getting iron now, which is awesome, which means that I can turn my attention to diamonds. It's really awesome because I feel like I'm getting to the point in Minecraft where I'm starting to get ideas and I know how to make them happen. So I'm so excited to start building around here. I'm thrilled that, like, I didn't dig a hole into the side of a hill and just live there for five months. I got myself a bed out in the open, but I am ready to build an actual house and put a roof over my head. So, with that said, I think I am going to go looking for some diamonds here soon, because I feel like shopping. But, that'll have to wait for the next episode. I'll see you there. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this content, and I will see you in our next episode. Bye!